Mrs. Ronika Carlson on behalf of Shona Kweep says they assessed these children before handing over the wheelchairs and awarded wheelchairs per specific needs of each child. She says the parents will also be given necessary training. Mrs. Carlson says this act will help children fit well where they live. The wheelchair is mainly, it's more of a tool to help the child become more independent and to help reintegrate them back into the community so that they can partake, uh, participate on an equal basis with other people within the environment. Chief Executive Officer of St. Angela Cheshire Home, Mrs. Pusele Tite, received this gift saying it addresses the challenges of disabled children and for a brighter future. One of the parents of the beneficiaries, Mrs. Mantadisile Tabela, expresses happiness in that they have been made halfway in taking care of their children. Appreciating this gift on behalf of the beneficiaries, Lekhono Lobohobe says these wheelchairs will be very helpful, but his concern is on the bad roads, which will still be a problem to drive in. Minister of Social Development Honorable Mate Batsodoti says that the funders have helped the muscle of the government financially. She says the government will return the favor by reconstructing the roads. <laughs> On behalf of King Letia the Third, as a patron, Chief Seiso Berin Seiso called out to all consent parties to support the disabled Basuto children and to all the rest of the people to not discriminate them. Hojabasoto, <coughs> The 12 wheelchairs are funded by Sintibali and Mr. Richard Benford and were designed and manufactured by Shona Kweep. Lomotari reporting for LTV News in Masiru.